What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cracker Hunters, Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. And uh, we got a special request from one of our subscribers, which I don't know if he's subscribed anymore, but I think he is. But it doesn't yeah, matter. It's a cool video. Matter. Yeah, it is. But uh, he actually asked us to do a kind of like size comparison between death and dimethyl. And um, because what he was saying, which uh, if that's the case, it's definitely not true. Um, he was saying that on Sideshow, it was saying that it was uh, him, dimethyl and death were the same size. Yeah, that's definitely not that's true. That's definitely not true at all. I mean, if you look at it, the only way that death would be the same size, like, or height-wise, would be as if the mask, the mask is the only way that he would be as tall as Demethyl. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of times what they're talking about when they talk about the height on statues is from the base all the way to the tip of their weapon. And even then, it still looks like at least... Mm. It might be a little... Bit closer about a, than you think. Uh, but it's probably about an inch shorter. About, about close to half yeah, an inch to an inch, inch shorter. Yeah. But if we're gonna go by the figures, like just the characters themselves, yeah, that's not even close. But then again, you know, you get other people over, oh what about the base? The base has got no the base is about the same damn yeah. same damn height. But anyways, it gives us a chance to just talk about some quarter of the dead, which um, I'm always a fan of. Yeah. I yeah. mean I am too. Yeah, I love the quarter of the dead. But um might as well do a comparison video while we're at it then. Might as well. <laughs> so um one of the things, man, I think, well, you, I'm sorry, I apologize. Do you want to start it or do you want me to start it? Which one do you want to pose uh, death with? Do you want to do it with the flesh mask or do you want to do it with a different one? Uh, the one he's got now. Flesh mask. Yeah, that's fine. So, I, I, prefer the, I prefer the bone faction mask, but they're all good. Honestly, I think the death mask or the flesh mask looks better with death. And, you know, I think the mixed media on death looks better than it does on Demethal because you have a lot of detail hidden from from Demethal. Right, and I think from, that, from the mixed media. And I know that was one of your, let me slide him around so everybody can see his face. There, there we go, point of the dude. But I think that was like, I know that was like one of your main complaints about some of the Court of the Dead figures with their mixed media covering up a lot of the detail that they should be showing off. I mean, I, I love the mixed media. Oh, really right, do. right, me too. I, I mean, it I looks good, it's awesome. I just wish they just didn't cover up everything with it. Right, and I know a lot of you statue collectors aren't fans of mixed media. You prefer, like, the sculpted capes and stuff like that. Me, I, th I prefer the mixed media. I think this is too big to sculpt. What? what? Uh, like, Death's cloak is too big to sculpt. Well, I wouldn't say it is because you can kind of give a flowing type thing. I don't, I, I, it would look terrible. It, I, it was, I have, I have it was, to agree. It was, with. it was a good design choice to make all of this mixed media, even with Demethal. Right, it was, and, it's and, just too much closes him. You know? and, and, I, and I and I agree because you do have you do lose a lot of the detail underneath. Like it's so much on um, me that you have to like move. On, yeah, like on his on his uh, greaves, which and his knee his uh, knee guards and everything. Right, but at, at the same token. His, his armor underneath is pretty much what you're seeing right here on the, on the statue itself, on the top half. Death know. has a lot more to show off with his armor and all the different plates and everything on his sides and, and all the little vestments hanging off, which are real metal, by the way. But um, he has a lot more to show off. Dude, there's sculpted people on the side of his greaves. Oh, yeah, you're right. He's right. So, <laughs> actually, probably... That's, and I agree, that's probably one of, I don't want to say complaint, but I agree that with the personal preference, I think you do lose a lot of the detail that you want to show off. If you got a statue, you want to show off all of it. You want to show off yeah. all the detail that it has, man, the people who come in here. And unfortunately, like I said, Demetha is a, a great looking statue, but you lose a lot of it with, with its vestments. Maybe there's a way you can pose the, <coughs> the mixed media because uh, it's, it's all yeah. posable. Yeah, yeah, you know? it's all posable. And maybe there's a way you can do it to where it shows all of his leg right. guards and stuff like that. But, but I mean, that's a it's, lot. It's a hassle. Yeah. It's, it's a hassle. And that's one of the things I did like about... It's like Sideshow listened to Anubis here. Like, they made it to where even when he's with his cloak on the side of his arm, which I'm going to rotate him a little bit, where you can see it actually goes behind his scythe. So that's one of the things I do like. That's like they listen to you a little yeah. bit. You know, but um, from like now, far as the armor and stuff like that, like that, who do you think has the better armor? 
honestly, I'm. I want to say Demethel does. I mean, it's most detailed. Right. Death looks better. I th now that I think you're probably right on. I think Demethel has the more intricate, like um, what's the things, uh, etching and, and everything like that. Yeah, the the, the mold, like on um, the sculpting and stuff on the actual armor itself. I mean, it's. Because awesome. there's a lot. It's got a little story behind everything. Uh, uh, that's, and that's one of the things I loved about Demethal's armor, man. You got all this different intricate artwork going on through, which, man, I know that thing had to take a lot of time. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a lot of damn work to put the sculpt into each individual armor because every piece of his armor has something on it, has some kind of script, inscription or um, stencil on it. Or just like a little story on it. Right. Him killing somebody. Which that's one of the, one of the main things I love about the Court of the Dead. Like in um, Aglavel, his swords tell a story on his swords, which yeah. I thought that was pretty damn cool. Like that's probably one of my main things I love about the Court of the yeah, Dead. Yeah, I mean, every little bit of the kind of, every little bit of his armor shows off a little bit of a story. And you know what's cool? It almost looks, it reminds me of like a Jolly Roger from a, a pirate flag. Oh, yeah. A pirate flag. <laughs> right, yeah. Because, well, I'm talking about on death. Right. Or not on Demethal. On Demethal, because it's always a skeleton killing somebody, which represents death killing somebody. Right. I mean, I mean, it, it, it reminds me of a Jolly Roger from a pirate ship. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. And it looks, I mean, it, it, they did a good job. With oh, it. yeah, man. They did an amazing job on that, man. Like, I just love all the intricate artwork on top of his armor. I mean, it's, that's one of the things I think he has over Death. But as Anubis said, Death's armor itself looks, looks better. better. It looks pretty cool. It's a, it's a cooler armor. Yeah, and it is. Like, rather, you gotta, rather than, like, the knight's armor or whatever. Right. You know, you got to actually... And, th and that's one of the things that for him, he has to have this armor on because he's like the top general in the underworld. Yeah. So he's always ready for war. So I can understand why his armor is a little bit more, more practical. I'm going to say practical, but... Um, Maybe more practical, yeah. Well, for his character, yeah, yeah. A little bit more practical for his character because he's a general. Death's the, the, Death's the head guy. He, he's the guy sitting back giving orders and stuff like that yeah. to the general. So he don't have to have all that intricate armor built on him because he's the guy giving the orders. So I can understand why they didn't go as, as detailed as far as all the inscriptions and everything on Death's armor. But a lot of stuff with Death, too, that comes with it is like just the, the additions, you know, the extra pieces. Right, and like Death has those, uh, he has the, the, three, the masks. three masks of, uh, well, I forgot what, the extra, what they're actually called. I can't remember what right I mean, now. I mean, but yeah, he way. has the three separate masks that you know you were able to buy separate, which I think they should have came with them in the first place. Yeah. But um, I, I think that that helps tip him over the edge a little bit as far as you know just the sculpture and the, the different accessories. And his blade is actually metal, which yeah, I think Timothy's is a little too big to be metal. I and think. it is, and I and like I and I think we discussed in our previous review. I understand why they couldn't make this metal because of the angle he's leaning. That's a lot of weight to depend on a magnet and a sculpture to keep up because if you made that metal, that'd probably be at least a good pound or two. Maybe added on to it, I'd say at least a good pound. Or at of, least 12 ounces. Yeah, at least 12 ounces of metal added on to that and, it, and for it to just have to use to depend on that uh, magnet and the way his arm is leaning and the way his pose is, yeah. it's given a lot of weight leaning towards to the back which gives a lot of... Uh, a lot more chances for it to eventually Breaking. snap or wear itself out and make the pose go back a little bit further than what it's supposed to. No, I mean, also though, now when we, when you were to go ahead and do the comparison video. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, basically. Might as well yeah. uh, just say the base on death is way better. Now, I know one of our subscribers didn't like the base. On death? Yeah, wow. it, it, he was saying it was such, I think from what, I'm paraphrasing here, of course. I think he was saying that it was such a different contrast from death, from the base coming up to death. Like, and I can understand what he was saying too, because if you look at a lot of the other bases on the Court of the Dead, it's a lot more natural, and it, and it, it flows with the character they're portraying on the base itself. Yeah, it kind of flows with death because he's standing on the soul well, of I think, the victims. And I think it may be because of the, of the color contrast, what he may be talking, oh. and correct me, I forgot which subscriber it was, so if you watch this video, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking he, Maybe we're talking about the more, the abrupt change between the green and then death himself. 
the green, the, the black and browns and red. Yeah, it's just it, it is a little bit. It is a little abrupt. I'll give him that. It is. Sometimes, I, though, I, sometimes though, you kind of need that. And just to highlight the base a little bit more and to separate the, from the base and the figure, but a lot of the other like a lot of the other quarter dads, they're a lot more natural with the flow. Like even Demethiles, his is a little bit more plain. But it's about as plain as it can get. Right, but so is Demetha. We and, and we really think about it. Yeah, it's, it's just him and armor. In general. Right. So he doesn't his doesn't need such an intricate base telling the story. Well, on the base itself though, it's still got the Court of the Dead symbol on right. it. Right. You know. That's why I enjoy doing these, man. You get to really delve into the characters themselves, man, and, and all the base. That's why I love doing these comparison video, videos. I know. If we could just pose this mixed media a different way, dude, we would get all kinds of different, more more details. And, you know, we could, we got people on these greaves, Right, you, know? you can see, yeah. And on the knee guards, you got this. I mean, that's such a cool scope on these knee guards. It, it really is, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. and, and look, now it's covered up. Right. And, and, and that's the only thing that really hampers... Demethi when compared to him to Dev because yeah. Dev you get all him in all his glory like even though you can't see the very back of him it's, you can still see the majority of his armor his and detail. exactly and that's there's one not, I mean there's not really any detail on his back then it's really not I mean it's some but not a lot not, yeah, but not much. it's it's just that you lose a lot of the the awesomeness that Demethi has when you cover up his um, legs yeah now as far as the like we are I think the base wins oh, oh, oh. We're getting a little side. We're just talking about this man. We ain't really so the base. Who do you think wins in the base? Death. You think Definitely. death. For me, I have to say death as well, man. I think death probably. I mean, for me, I like the base. I know one of the subscribers didn't. I think, but I like the base and the way it looks, and because it shows all the souls and stuff like that. Yeah, I think Demethal has the base that he needs. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I think that's that's perfect for him. Yes, especially for his big ass. Yeah, and death. I think he's got the base that he needs, just standing on the souls of the right. victims, you know, just showing him and all of his awesomeness. I agree. You know, I mean, I mean, you got all these all these souls right here. I mean, on and it's pouring out of the well, you know. Right. I just I just think that's that's cool. You know, even they could have changed the color, maybe. Maybe make it. Maybe I think it may be a little bit bluer or something like that. Maybe not as it's a little darker. Yeah, yeah, a little darker. So that way it wouldn't have been as dramatic or right. such a contrast between the base and, and death. But but I mean, still, you know, when you're looking at the souls and stuff through all the all the court of the dead, they're all that same color. So right. it's got it's got to fit a pattern. You know, it can't be different. So base, we give it to death. Now, as far as the armor itself. I know we're probably talking about all the points where you got a little carried away just so, admiring these statues. But now, as far as the armor, who would you give the armor to, I mean, as far as who's, who's better? Honestly, I think there's more work in Demethel's armor. Yeah. And I, I think it looks great. And I think it's, I think it's awesome. I, I give the armor to Demethel because, you know, I've actually got to see his legs. Right. <laughs> now, for me, I have to agree with you. I think... Technically, Death's armor probably looks a little bit better, but I think not the look, yeah, not as detailed. And I think the overall look, as far as the character matching it, I still think Demethal, man, with all that detail, artwork, and the etching and everything, I'd have to give it to Demethal as far as the armor. Now, let's see, what else can we the basic compare? Basic pose. No, the basic pose. Yeah, now the pose. Now, for me, this is actually a pretty tough one. Because if you look, they both have similar poses. The exact same pose. Yeah, the exact, yeah, the exact same pose. <laughs> now, I think Demethal wins this one because of all the extra arms and stuff like that reaching out. Like him and his baby nub, which I call it, yeah. His baby nub. His little hand. His little baby nub. And just, man, just the way, I think his pose, even though they're the same, his pose looks a little bit more imposing. Okay, so I think... I'm going to disagree with you on this one. I oh. think Death has this one. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because of the mixed media. Okay. Because so of the... Oh, gotcha. Cause we get to see all of Death's glory plus all of the base with, uh, with his pose. We don't get all that with Demethel. And yes, you know, we get all the, the little, little stuff like that. But we also get that too with uh, Death. And, and, and a lot of it too. I mean, on yeah. here. I don't know, man. For me, I, I, I have to give the pose to Demethel. Well, we can go a 50-50 on this one. 
No, I'm giving the no. I'm going with Demetrio. Well, yeah. I'm saying I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. You go. Oh, you okay, go gotcha. Demetrio. Okay, all right. So draw. So draw. for us, it's draw. <laughs> all right. So um, as far as the oh, so now we got we got through all the base, the armor, the pose. No, now we're gonna talk about the overall statue. So I, I have to give it to Death. I have to give it to Death too. I it's, think the overall. It, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I it's just a off. better. It's a better made statue. They give you more uh, accessories. You got your different uh, pose abilities with it. You know, you can change the mask out. Right. And the scythe is metal. That's a good plus. You know, you got your mix. All those, media. all those vestments, are like the little things, the little dangly things. Yeah. All of that's metal. Yeah. And you got your mixed media that actually works with the statue rather than works against the statue. It's a damn good point. I like that. That's a real good point. I had to go. I, I, I don't really have much to add because you just basically named all the points I was going to name off. I had to give the overall look probably to death because of everything Anuba just said. And man, it's just he's a leader too. But man, you can yeah, tell he's a leader. Too. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so I mean, I don't really have like I said. I'm not going to add anything else to the overall because Anuba just made really most of the points I was going to make. Like I said this. I think overall it's a better looking statue. Demetheo has some things, his arm, his, his, arm, his size, because he's much larger, but at the same time, unfortunately, that extra size comes with an extra price point, because Demetheo was a thousand bucks. Yeah, that, yeah. Which, and that's the thing, like, that's I think, hit. now, and um, death was six ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. Around that. So, yeah, around, so that's 300 more bucks we're charging for Demetheo for a few inches, I mean, well, an inch or two you more. You add another 120 for all the. Uh, well, we don't. I'm not gonna count. That's that's no. That, that's still that's still part of the statue. No, it's well. The only reason why I'm not gonna add that is because that's an a, that's an that's a extra. Choice. That's a choice. That doesn't come with the statue, so I don't want to knock that against Demetrio. But in our overall, though, we did have to. We did mention the. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, you're right. Yeah, overall, yeah, because he does come with a few more. You he has the option to purchase the extra masks to add a little bit more flavor to death. So yeah, I, I I agree. Yeah, now like I said, far that's still extra a hundred dollars for Demethal rather. No, than no, that. no. That's yeah, you know, no. I mean, even you add, you add, even with that, that's still extra two over two hundred bucks more. Oh, okay. Even that's with good. the extra mass, so I think you get more for your buck with Death than you would Demethal because Demethal is big as hell. He's got intricate armor, but other than that, that's really it. He's also kind of flimsy too. No, I don't think he's too flimsy. Flimsy, like as a statue itself. Well, the only thing that's flimsy is maybe his, no, no. He's actually, actually deaf, so not flimsy, but his his, his scythe has a, a tendency to move uh, move around yeah, a bit but more. Yeah, it's so heavy. Cause right. It's made out of metal. Yeah, and that's see that shows a good point of that. But man, overall, man, I got to give. I'm like a newest man. I got to give it to death. Okay. And this is pretty fun. I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't expecting we were going in just to do a size comparison and turn it into a comparison video. It was actually pretty fun. Man, we need to do some more of these. I agree, man, because I would love to do. Like, I'd now, like to do a comparison with all the women of the court. Of the now day. that's actually one of the things um, I want to ask my subscri our subscribers: what what court of the day statues would you like to see us compare? Because we have I have every one, like all the statues. That as come of right out. now, yeah, as of right now, yes. Because um, I would love to know which ones you would want to do a comparison with to kind of give a good close look up between the two. You so, know what we should do next? We should do uh, the first version of all the women. Oh, comparison between all three, like all three of them sitting up here. Yeah. Like, 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 give us some, some give us some, uh, give us some, some suggestions. Sorry, tongue tied, everybody. Give us some suggestions. Let us know which, like, like, would you like to see all the women from version one and do a comparison between all of them, or maybe one or two comparison each. Let us know, man, because we love doing these comparison videos. Yeah. And, and if you want videos wanna, in general. Yeah, just videos in general. So yeah, man, this was fun. I, I was, I wasn't expecting to have this much fun talking about these two. All right, man. So I think that's the end of this one, man. Yeah. So overall, we give the we give the winner death. Yep. No, so death is the winner in this one, man. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Hit the bell notification for, um, to get notified of our future videos. But I'm Carolina Hitman. I'm Anubis. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.